Question 44 in the June 2010 paper requires us to use a lookup formula. So to begin with I'm just going to scroll right up to the top of the worksheet and I'm just going to double click between each of the columns just so I, we can make sure we can see everything in the spreadsheet. Then I'm going to make sure that I have got the second file, jxdest, open. Go back to our main spreadsheet and let's look at the question. It starts in the destination column, which is over here, column A. Use a lookup function to show the destination name. So we want our answer to appear here in A2, so that's where we will click. Go back to the question. Use the code column for the lookup value. So I'll just go here to formulas, insert function. If the formula you require is not listed here, just type it up here and press go. But I can see VLOOKUP is here, so I'm just going to select it and press OK. Now it's actually easier to look at the question with this um, box in mind as well. So use the code column for the lookup value. First item in the wizard is a lookup value and I can see a code column. So I'm just going to click and drag. Don't worry that the little wizard box has been made smaller. Around, I'm just going to drag around all the items in the code column and then let go. And Excel has put those that cell range in the box for me. Because I want that and all these um, B2 to B8 cells to be the same, even when I copy this formula down into the rest of column A here, I need to make the, the cell range an, range an absolute value. So at this point I'm just going to press F4 on my keyboard, and you can see over here we now have the dollar symbols before the column letters and the row numbers. Now I'm going to click into the second box, the table array. The question has said use the file jxdest.csv for the array. So I'm just going to flick over to that second file and click and drag around all the content. You just need to remember to leave the headings out of this. Then I can click to back to the main sheet and click column index number. We want to return we, sorry, we want Excel to have a look at the code in row 2 here, BAH, and then write in the destination column what BAH means. When we go back to our table array, we can see BAH means Bahamas. EGY means Egypt. So column A here is the equivalent of index number 1. Column B, the one we want to return, is column index number 2. So that's why we need to click 2 in that third and final compulsory box in our VLOOKUP. Click OK, and we can see now Bahamas has been automatically written into cell A2. If I click and drag the same formula down to the rest of the related columns, we can see as we go through that yes indeed all of those names that have just been entered by Excel match their particular codes. And that was the VLOOKUP formula.